Do you think the 1962 pennies are worth money? Worth looking for? Right now, we can tell you, oh yeah. We'll talk about them right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B. In this video, we will talk about a penny worth money to look for. And to be more specific, the 1962 pennies you should know about. And we will cover non-error coins. In 1962, the pennies were struck at the Philadelphia and Denver mints only. So let's start with the penny struck that year at the Philadelphia Mint. The Philadelphia Mint struck regular business pennies that year that we use in everyday transactions, as well as proof coins. For those new to the hobby, the difference between regular and proof coins is their finish. The regular we see in everyday coinage that we get in our change and we see a shiny glossy finish on proof coins. In this example, both coins won't have any mint mark. The Philadelphia Mint struck over 606 million regular pennies that year, one of the smallest mintages in the 1960s. They won't bear a P mint mark, and they will have a regular business strike coin finish. The only pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint which bear a P mint mark were struck in 2017. The Philadelphia Mint struck coins that year in poor condition, and that applies to regular and proof coins. But let's concentrate at first on the regular business strike coins. The 1962P MS65 examples begin to become somewhat scarce. In MS66, this issue becomes very scarce there are probably no more than a thousand examples that exist in MS66 condition. A few coins have received the MS67 grade or higher, and there are probably less than a dozen that exist in MS67. There are nine examples in grade MS67+. Plus. The plus after the grade means in between the grades. So in this example, this coin is in better condition than an MS67, but not as good as an MS68. And there's only one coin in MS68 grade. That's how rare this penny is. In grade MS67, this coin sold at Stax Bowers in March of this year for $1,080. Wow! In grade MS67 Plus, this coin sold at Heritage Auctions for $2,585. It's super nice money, but it's only getting better. The highest grade known, like we mentioned, for the regular strike 1962 penny is MS68. And since it never was sold, the price guide for this coin shows an estimated value of $10,000. What a great value! And since we're talking about pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint that year, let's cover the proof coins too. The Philadelphia Mint struck 3.2 million proof coins, an average number for proof coins, and they won't bear any mint mark that year since they were struck at the Philadelphia Mint and they were struck in poor condition. Finding this penny in the highest grade is not easy. And as of the day we're shooting this video, none has been graded in Proof 70 DCAM, which is the highest grade for a proof coin. The highest grade until now is a Proof 69 DCAM, with a large population of these pennies in existence. Speaking of its value, this coin was sold 
at Stax Bowers Auction for $840, which is very nice money for a proof coin in that grade. So before we move on to the penny struck at the Denver Mint that year, we want to make a point here. That 1962 pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint are definitely worth looking for and should be on your lookup list. As for coins struck that year at the Denver Mint, they will bear a D mint mark. And the Denver Mint struck almost 1.8 billion pennies. That's a large number. And they struck them in not as good condition as they usually do. And, in fact, the highest grade known for this penny until now is only MS67+. Plus. And only one coin exists in that grade with none higher. Since it was never sold, PCGS estimates the value of this coin at $8,500. So without more info, you should add this penny to your lookup list as well. MS67 Plus is not a super high grade. In MS67 grade, it's also worth very nice money. In fact, this coin sold at Heritage Auction for $1,440. Again, look for all three pennies from both mints. To find a coin in that nice of a grade, you will need to search uncirculated rolls of 1962 pennies or 1962 mint sets. You will need to search uncirculated 1962 sets for the regular business strike coins and 1962 proof sets for the proof coins. You obviously can't buy them directly from the mint anymore, but you can buy them on the secondary market with premium, but it might be worth doing so. The penny struck in 1962 have known varieties and errors on them, but we will cover that in a separate video, since it's a lot to cover. This video, like we said at the beginning, is dedicated to non-error pennies in 1962. And we have a question for you. Do you think these pennies are worth looking for? Please let us know in the comments section below. We read all of your comments. Also, please watch our video about the 1977 pennies you might be very nicely surprised how valuable some of the newer pennies are, if only you know what to look for. We also would like to say thank you to all of our JB Coins Inc. members. If you'd like to become a JB Coins Inc. family member, please follow the link below this video. We greatly appreciate your support. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.